Hi. Uh, well, we are yet to deliver the lab troubles, but we are working on it. Uh, well, I'm very proud to be today here to present our wooden amplifier that we developed at Stock Talk. Um, we see it as a green contribution uh, to the world of entertainment technology, where we produce about 20 to 50 million hard to recycle e-waste each year. Well, we primarily at Stock Talk we design and build furniture, but about two years ago we decided to. Um, to work on this project, to make a project that we'll have fun with. Um, so this is how it started. And uh, we started building models like the ones we found on the internet. And uh, we soon uh, saw that there is a lot of potential there because we all have smartphones and they're fantastic devices. We use them for everything, also for phone calls. And um, one of the major activities we use them for is uh, playing music, at least we do so. Uh, so we set ourselves to, to develop a portable, like passive amplifier we can take with us, with no batteries, no electronic components. Um, so the, one, the models that we made according to the ones we saw on the internet uh, were not loud enough and they resonated enough. So we made our own models uh, that were louder but resonated even more. So it was really painful to listen to them uh, for more than a couple of minutes at a time. The sound was ear piercing. So we went, visiting, so we went um, to visit a friend of ours who works with sound and he then explained us everything about sound that we didn't know how it travels, how it works, why it resonates and he suggested to put, um, to, put a, sorry, <laughs> to put a cone inside the, uh, the tunnel to prevent resonation and we played with different shapes, uh, made different prototypes of a cone and then we found out that uh, one shape that really helped us, um, so to preserve the high tones and to prevent resonating of the middle tones, middle frequencies, but um, there were no low frequencies, there were no bass, and uh, that really bothered us. Uh, but to do that we would need another, because to do that we would need uh, to implement an, an additional source of energy, uh, or at least some kind of a uh, electronic component and that would be against the green idea behind the trouble that we had. So we started experimenting with membranes but it didn't work, the, the sound wasn't strong enough uh, for the membrane, membrane to start vibrating so that was a dead end, dead end and at that point we visited another friend, a sound technician that works at a local public radio and um, he thought that we could create a special chamber inside the, of the speaker, of the amplifier uh, that could create some low frequencies, even though he was uh, he thought that it was impossible. Well, we made a few prototypes and we got some low frequencies out, but not as much as we hoped for. Uh, but at the same time, time we got stereophony, and that was a big plus because now the sound had some more depth to it. Um, and because we really wanted Strobler to to be. Um, uh, in use for a longer period of time to be more lasting than an iPhone model you have or whatever model, we developed a system of interchangeable uh, adapters like you see here. So that basically means that when you buy a new phone, you don't need to throw the trouble away. Uh, you can still use it, you just need to get a, uh, an uh, adapter for it, for the new phone, and you can use it for trouble further on. So at, at this stage, we developed at least 10 different prototypes of uh, this amplifier uh, and we felt like that confident enough that we could launch it so we opted for a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter we were the ca campaign was on from April till May um, and we raised about $58,000 our goal was 10,000 and uh, we got more than 700 backers and uh, 900 troubles to build we built half of that for now, and uh, we are working on another batch, uh, and we learned a lot in this process into uh, about sound, about how how to make it work, materials, uh, how to actually produce such a product in like in bigger quantities, and we also made some mistakes. We underestimated how much time it would take us to to build such thing. Um, but what keeps us going and motivated is the responses that we get from our backers, for people who get their troubles. They're all 
the responses are very good. They like it. They're really impressed how it works. Uh, so that keeps us going on to develop uh, more this trouble and some other ideas we have to join sound and possibly other electronics uh, like smartphones and tablets into wooden objects. Yes, and um, now to start beating it out of the bush, I'll show you how it works. I have a song here from the Canadian musician Corey Ganet. He was kind enough to let me use it. And this is the adapter. You can change it by a new one. We have 20 adapters for 10, 20 different phones. And there is like a special leg inside that you can touch like this and use it on whatever surface you want. Yeah, so this is all for my part. Thank you for listening.